everyone, welcome to my channel, guys. And yeah, sit back and relax because this is gonna be a long ass video. Uh, and I'm gonna be watching all the comebacks that I have missed out on because the pre Diwali, uh, I was like, I felt sick all of a sudden and I was really, really unwell. And, uh, and in that period, so many comebacks happened, so I missed out on watching all of them. So, it made sense that yes. Uh, you know, I have a lot of catching up to do, so I thought, yes, after Diwali, I had this thing in my mind, I had also posted in my community tab that I'll, uh, you know, watch, do a one big marathon video and I'll watch all the comebacks together. So we have a lot of videos today. I think six videos, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six videos today. And uh, I'm going to start off with an older comeback that I missed out on because I don't really follow this group uh, that much. This is Treasure, Hello MB. So I'm going to be first watching this. Then I'm really excited about this one, Lesser Fame, Anti-Fragile. Then uh, you have Mamamoo after a long time. Uh, and this song is called Illela. Illela? I think it's Illela. I will hear when it happens. The song. Then Idol, uh, this song is called, is it Nude? NXDE, they have just censored that, maybe. Uh, then Itzy, this is a pre-release before, like this is an English pre-release, this is not an official comeback, uh, their official comeback will happen. So this is Boys Like You, so this is I think their first like official English song. Then uh, 10 released a video in NCT Lab. Uh, this song is called Birthday. This just dropped, so I thought I'll include that as well. So yeah, six videos, uh, starting with Treasure. I'm gonna put the timestamp so you can watch the video at one go, or you can just you know go to your song, uh, the song that you prefer watching. And I don't know if I'm gonna break this video into two because usually when I post such long format videos, it tends to get blocked. I don't know. I don't know. So yes, so maybe I'll just cut them. If, if it gets blocked, then maybe I'll just cut it in two parts and then post it separately. So let's not delay this any further. Let's begin this party. I like how it started, I like the melody. started I, i'm not much into like the edm drop songs but i enjoy them like i listen to them from time to time but they are like like literally not like i don't go out of the way to listen to them very few in fact uh i think in my overall playlist also there's like a handful of these kind of songs which are there because uh, i remember i used to listen to these kind of songs a lot when i was a teenager or in my 20s maybe i've outgrown them in my 30s i think i've just outgrown them a little bit but i still enjoy them time to time like the select songs which i like because I, I think it more more has to do with the melody of the song than the beat drops it's the melody so for me here the way the song sounds in terms of its melody i really like that the entire way the song completely builds up to the main beat i really like that structure so i'm just gonna run that back because i really enjoyed the way it started and i don't know i like the entire build up to the song like till the chorus uh, drop I like this melody. you be 
고배 홀로 외로운 속에 어서 내게 건네줘 Tell me hello again 하지 보지 원청이 삶의 문지개를 피고 비가 떠나 너도 미지는 너란 아침의 품으로 매 순간 감정에 파도를 외롭게 다섰던 그런 나라 놈을 보내고 말해 안녕도 안녕 내 눈물아 안녕 쓸쓸함도 안녕 자 이제 풀기 시작해 심장 속 Like the pretty oh my god! Did I just see a namaste in there? Did I see just like a namaste in there? Or are my eyes betraying me? Huh? That was a good inclusion. I like that. I don't know how many languages they include, but I definitely saw namaste. song to you know play live like this is a this is a concert song this is an actual concert song because the the energy and the vibe of the live crowd is going to be different when you play this song live and when you sing it like it really hypes the crowd up Wanted, I really, you know, would have wanted that the this ending part when they hype this, the the build up happens. I wish now they are in an arcade. They are in an arcade. They are like in an amusement park kind of a setup. I would have loved at the ending they were actually on a stage, and then there was this crowd. They're just, you know, you could have shown that the kind of performing uh, in an amusement park. The the entire crowd is filled, and then. the fireworks happened and you know they are just basically jamming and hyping up the crowd i would have loved to see that in a video that would have i don't know is just me is this my imagination you know working while listening to the song but this is what would have made the ending even more powerful like you have the perfect build up for the end you have the perfect build up for the end Like the crowd coming in, you know, uh, in the amusement park, they are doing their thing, you know, the public, and then they are going on stage, just, not even a stage, maybe it's like a makeshift stage, and they are just going there, and then they are hyping up the crowd, and oh, and the fireworks, oh, that would have been so cool. I think that would have been so cool. Short. I feel there are very less people here. Like they need to, need, they needed to fill up the space. Like if I was the director, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. I'm saying if I was the director, I would have just filled up the space. Like there would have been like crowd just jumping. That that would have been the shot, and I would have taken an aerial shot. I 
I'm looking, I'm looking for you in that crowd. You, I mean, I'm searching for you amongst so many people that are here. Could have been like a storyline. Yes, and then you end with the shot of the go pan above and you end with the fireball. See all, all imagination, all imagination, all imagination. So yes, that was Hello uh, by Treasure, and I think it's been it's been over a month, right? Three weeks, not over a month. So still within the month. So still within within the month. Uh, I feel. Uh, so yeah, I think. I think that this song is someone who really likes such beat drops like the party anthem where you can just jump. I think for them the song completely is going to be like a treat to listen to because it's very addictive and there's, there's a certain sense of energy that uh, the way they're singing it, the way the beats are, uh, it brings that certain energy into the screen also and when you're listening to it also. But for me, like I said, I have I really am not very like I'm not an avid listener of uh, such kind of genre, but for me, what works in the song is the melody because the when it started, I really like the way they were singing this. I really like whoever composed the song. That's the problem with the K-pop songs is that they don't give the credits. They don't give the credits in the descriptions. I would have loved to see who has actually produced uh, the song, but they don't do that. But it's okay. I mean, that's just, I have come to expect that. I've come to expect that. So this actually released on 4th October. So I am I'm actually reacting to this at the end of this month, basically. The month is almost over. I hope you guys had a good Diwali. Hope you guys, I am so happy I recovered before Diwali. I, I think I recovered one day before Diwali. And I recovered on Chote Diwali, basically. So uh, the, uh, congratulations to Treasure because this is part like of what I saw is from the uh, second mini album. This is called the second step. And I don't know how, because I mean, I know that uh, YG likes to give uh, longer breaks to the group, which in a way is good uh, because, you know, the groups are able to rest, but I don't know how long it has been since their last comeback. I don't know how long it has been since their last comeback. So, uh, it, it, is it only Blackpink or is it with all the YG groups that happens? Please let me know. But overall, this was an enjoyable watch for me. I enjoyed watching it. Though, not a song that I'll loop because it's not a genre that I listen to a lot. Maybe, uh, maybe once it randomly plays on my playlist because when I'm playing my K-pop playlist or whenever I'm randomly putting on a Spotify playlist in this place, I don't think I'll skip it because something to hype you up, like you're going to move. This is a song which will, which is not really a skip song. Or to be very honest, even though I don't listen to this genre, it's not really a skip song because I like the melody, I like how it sounds, I like how it has arranged, I, it has been arranged, and it has that energy, it has that hype that you need for a song like this. You need for a song like this. So yes, that was the reaction to Hello MV. Uh, and uh, the only thing that I wanted, because the song is structured in this way, the only thing that I wished this MV had, not the song, this MV had that at the end, because it was the that, that was perfectly arranged, you know, one, two, three, four, you're hyping up the crowd and yeah, that, that entire thing is there. It has what it takes and I just wish there was like a crowd, like, you know, which was, we probably got an aerial shot and that was just the hyping of the crowd. I that's the only wish I had uh, looking at the MV that maybe they could have included that, but no problem. Anyway, so I'm going to move on to the next group now, Les Seraphim, so excited for their comeback, uh, Anti-Fragile. Let's see what this song, uh, you know, holds for us, what kind of, what kind of genre they have basically come up with. Is it going to be, you know, because with their debut, they completely, you know, subverted everybody's expectation. It was not loud. It was very, it was very elegant and classy. I loved, I loved Fearless. So let's see how anti-fragile is. And I hope uh, uh, Chewan and Yunjin, because they were involved in a minor accident. So I hope they're doing okay now. They were not really injured. That's this, that's what I know. That was the statement given by Source Music. So yes, let's look at anti-fragile official MV. I am anti Ooh. I am anti fragile. I'm anti fragile. I'm anti fragile. Oh, it is about to end. I'm anti fragile. I'm 
This has given me some inspiration because I was about to throw up a denim of mine, but looking at this, I can probably show it to a tailor and get it made, get something made of it. Okay, thank you. I don't think I think it's Anche. So I, you know, she has a very cute face. She has a very very cute face. But here, she managed to look badass. She managed to look badass. Love her expressions. She's owning the screen. And Kazua is to just on another level. I love everyone. Like everybody's looking great. You know, everybody has a really powerful screen presence, and they are just different. I find lesser film very very different. And this is. Well, wow, I've never this this genre. This is more like you know reggae, reggaeton. Reggaeton is the genre that have uh, hit with this song. I would have not expected it, but expect the unexpected when it comes to lesser film. I swear, I don't think I would have imagined their title track to be in a reggaeton uh, genre. That's and you don't see a lot of K-pop title tracks with this kind of genre and all of i mean i think in entirety of my uh, you know active listening of k-pop since last two years like reggaeton as a as a musical genre in not even i wouldn't say title tracks to very less but even in b-sides i don't think it's that widely used so the fact that lesser films come back first come back lesser films first come back 
uh, uh, the title track is this genre but it kind of doesn't surprise me also because the way they set the standard with their you know debut that expect the unexpected like we're not gonna stick to the norm we're gonna do something different they have clearly you know showed that in the comeback also because the the genre itself is like the beats are not very heavy but they're still you can dance to it uh, there's a definite you know there's a very different kind of rhythm to this kind of genre like when you are using reggaeton reggaeton music has a very different kind of rhythm because it's very groovy but it's not loud and that's perfect fantastic and they all look great like Cheon, oh my god i'm just loving that you know top of that denim top yeah all of them yeah Jin, sakura all of them look great all of them look great but kazula is just on another level on another level my god you see the beats that this the very groovy the very very groovy <laughs> She managed to look so bad. I love it. Do you want to be forgiven? What is going on? What's that storyline? What's that storyline? Okay. Yeah, I was, I mean, I was expecting the unexpected from them and they did not, you know, they like to this video. They very, very like to this video. Love it. Love it. Oh, top five global, uh, number five global top music video. Oh, okay. Not bad. And 45 million views in 10 days. That's, Oh, they have, here they have given, see, now I like this. I like that they have given all the credits. I like that they have given all the credits. So I just want to see who's the director. Mm. Sun Shik Young. Sun, Sun Shik Young. That, who's the, he, he's the director. And I think they did a great job. Did a great job. Because I love how it looks. Uh, it looks like it does. It has the colors. But it also looks very, very rich in a way because obviously everything is getting destroyed. You can see the destruction, but in a very, very aesthetic way. And that's why that's what I think lesser is the very aesthetic and classy. And even though this is a badass kind of concept, I don't know. They have it's very feminine, which I like. I like that little, you know, even though the song is called anti fragile, but there's this beautiful, delicate look to the song, which I love. I don't know how they managed to balance balance it out, but I love that. I love that because uh, you know the costumes, the way they have been coordinated, the outfits, the way they have been coordinated. Everybody is wearing different outfits, except the one where they're wearing all white. That's color coordinated. But other than that, with the different outfits, also they have managed to sync together really well. So I like the outfits, all of the outfits that have worn. Uh, I think specifically for me, 
uh, Chewan's outfit was like the denim. There was one where she's with the denim pants, and another one uh, I think in the first verse where I saw her with the denim skirt. I think her with she really worked the denims to her favor. I love that, and all the other outfits I liked all, but that is the one which they like, completely stayed with me till the end. The choreography is great. I don't know who is the choreographer for Les Seraphim particularly, but I really like the choreography. The like the formations in, in uh, specifically the chorus where they do this thing. I like that. That was a great choreography, and overall the way I, I I will actually check out the dance practice video because I feel with the video with their MV the way they were transitioning and doing their formations because everybody got center time. Uh, so for me, I want to see how they are basically transitioning between the formations. So I'll watch the dance practice video on my own because I'm very very interested to see the choreography and. Because you know the beat, it's it's a reggaeton uh, beat. So it's you know there is a lot of like thak 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 thak. The very much like it's so groovy and has so much rhythm. So I think and all of them are great dancers. All of them are great dancers. So I think that the choreography video is going to look so beautiful. I they would have their choreography video also released, like the performance video for Anti Fragile. So I'll check that out as well. That one choreography of Kazuha at the center when she gets to the center time, she lifts up her like that like the back. Alarina kind of step she does loved that absolutely loved that she owned the screen for me. All the girls are beautiful, amazing, talented, but she completely owned it for me on this video particularly. Just like like she was just grabbing my attention like that. She was just grabbing my attention. She's so elegant and beautiful, and I don't know. There's something about her, her overall personality, just completely draws me to her, towards her. Completely draws me towards her. So this is a great comeback and a very very different kind of song that they like. A very very different genre. I'm not talking about the lyrics because I think the lyrics are pretty much something that I have like heard and listened to in a lot of K-pop songs. When I was reading, I was like, yeah, this is something that. I'm used to with a lot of GG, uh, you know, songs which talk about you know we are badass and we are anti. This is like we are anti fragile, obviously, but we are badass and you know nobody can stop us from doing our thing. We're gonna go off the top and all of that lyrics are they are fine, no problem. The lyrics are quite decent, but it's the genre and that they have chosen for their comeback that impresses me. That completely impressed me. So yes, that was anti fragile. Wow. Did not expect it, but then not surprised also, guys. Like I'm, I'm really getting impressed with this group. In fact, I think uh, fourth gen this year, three girl groups that have really impressed me. One is Ive, then Lesser Film, and uh, uh, this New Jeans. Damn, I am so impressed with the three groups. Uh, seriously, they have, they have just completely been for me in GGs in fourth gen. They have. They have taken the top spot for me so yeah now i'm going to move on to oh my god after such a long time cannot wait to listen to the song uh this is mama Mu, uh and uh, the song is called ilela that's i don't want to deal with this any further let's let's see how it sounds is it ilela or how is it pronounced and yeah let us begin <laughs> 